In this video I will make this rug. I do it fully freehand, which means I use no pattern, no measuring tape and no pins. The fabric has a lovely pattern that I will use as a reference. This is vintage bridal Italian lace and a lovely floral lace trim. And then I'll install the camera. I'm Marjolein Turin, I'm an indie fashion designer. Somnia Romantica is my main fashion line. Did you see what I did there? Poof, there goes the measuring tape. And now I start to cut the pattern. I measure two white hands, that's about 40 cm or 16 inch. That's for the armpit to the wrist. Mine is a little for the cuff. I make sure the fabric is symmetrical and I cut the back at the folded part. And I use that one as a reference for the front to make sure the seams will be sort of even. This is my searcher. I will remove the peach neutral and put on the ivory cream. First thing I'm going to do is pleating the cuff side of the sleeves with very dense pleats. I cut almost three times the cuff for this. Pleat, 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 pleat. Then I'm putting the shoulders and side seam through the searcher and give the shrug all around the bodice a nice hemming. Moving the camera to the sewing machine. Here are all the happy layers. I'm starting with the bridal trim pleating it onto the sleeve with the scalloped part upwards. Putting on the broad lace trim and then doing the same thing with the other side. And then we have these cute happy little flowers and we put it over the seam. The seam was nice enough but now it's even nicer. I cut away the abundant lace at the inside of the sleeve and then there's this. This is Spanish bridal lace, also vintage and I'm going to do that at the sleeve end because it's very fine and subtle, I think it's fitting for this part. It's a bit lighter and it puts the lace trim and the fabric and Italian lace together. I'm folding it in half and giving it a nice zigzag. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. Then I'm going to pleat on the bridal lace to the bodice. I decided to do this on the outside so you keep both sides of the lace. It gives a very lush effect. Pleating it very densely, don't know what was going on. And then when I'm all around, I cut it and I'm sewing the ends together. Very dense stitch, very dense zigzag. Then I'm cutting the abundant lace away and pleat the last bit. Correcting it a bit and there you go. This one goes on the inside. It's a very simple, small cream ivory lace trim. Here the lower thread needs to be replaced. Be always very careful to notice this because it will save you a lot of annoyance. Again, the flowery lace, I needed to have the other side of the lace, and there I'm sewing it on. Last flower, we'll flip it around. Postman was at the door, and there you go. And a second row, because otherwise the lace trim will flip around, and we don't want it. Lots of hand action. That's the puddle that is left. Yay. And then we go to the sleeve. We put the sleeve through the searcher. After that it's time to insert the sleeves. Big puff sleeve, small armhole. So it needs a lot of dense pleats. I'm determining the mid shoulder and then I'm just fumbling everything in. I have both sleeves done and then it's time to put it through the searcher. Flip, flip, flip. Now we're almost done with the piece. I'm giving the lace at the hem of the cuff another stitching to sew the searcher seam flat and to make sure it won't fray. And I'm sewing the shoulder panels flat and there's my label. I was happy this is always. When I'm done, ta-da! And then, uh, yeah, bummer. Some lace got folded so I had to get the stitch ripper and do it again. But anyhow, then I was really done. This is the result. You can see it from all sides and here you can see some close-ups. You can see really well how nice and stiff the lace is and can make this almost rough like necklines. Uh, yeah, this was a fun project. If you enjoyed this video, I can recommend this playlist or you can go to my main channel for all of my content. I upload every Friday. See you in the next one. Bye bye.